using the Powered BI Environment Service. My name is Fabio Manessas, and in this video, we'll know how to get the Azure Data Lake data through Dataflow, which is the processing and data transformation in the cloud. I hope you like it. Don't forget to give your like and subscribe to our channel to value its content. Use the comments to take your doubts. It is also important to understand that there are additional information in the description of this video that can assist in your studies. Let's go there. First of all, we will grant permissions to the user who will access the Azure Data Lake resource. Click on Access Control and let's view the access set to my user. Remember that I'm an owner and I have full control access to all existing resources in my subscription. Related in this option called Scope. Now we will add a new role assignment. Realize that there are some sets of accesses already previously available. We will search for the role that manages blob storage by typing the word blob. And in this case, select the set of permissions that ensure that this new user will be an administrator of the resource. Remember that we can also grant read-only permissions to folders and files in this structure. In the next step, we will choose the user who will be associated to this role. We can also choose a group of users and even a managed identity. We click Select Members, and from this list below, we can select the user or search the user using that search by text box. Confirming this selection on button below. The user is added in the list of members, and now we click on the Review and Assign button. It is presented the settings selected in the previous steps, and we need to click again on this button to confirm these modifications. Thus, using the application Azure Storage Explorer desktop, we can upload the files in Parquet format of the institutions and higher education courses. Therefore, in the Azure Data Lake resource, we have the endpoints available for this resource. We will copy the URL for Data Lake Storage, that is the file system. Now, in Power BI Service, we click on the desired workspace. Here we will have the objects related to this environment as the reports, data set, and data flows. So we click on a new data flow. Remember that data flow is a process to prepare, clean, and transform the data, also known as ETL. This step is related to Power BI Desktop in the Power Query functionality and is run on your computer or rather saying, bringing this processing to cloud computing. Because we will use Power Query within the Power BI service. We can thus start the creation of this data flow by choosing between setting new tables or associate to tables already existing between previously created data flows. We will thus choose the first option for add new tables. Now we will choose the data source between several existing connections. To facilitate our search, we will filter only available connections for Azure resources. So we'll select Azure Data Lake Generation 2 and paste in the URL field the path we copied back there from the endpoint. We will create a new connection. Also, we could reuse a connection taking into consideration the same source origin. We can even set up the gateway to access on-premises resources instances. We will have to choose how to authentication. Where in this list, we have the business or organizational account. That is the user we added in the roles and access permissions. Or use shared access signature. We learned in another channel video how to set up this type of access. Keeping the first option selected. Power BI identifies the user who was logged into the system and we can also change if it is necessary. 
We click the next button and realize that as we are accessing a folder structure, the preview of the data present existing files in this structure. Just below we have a button to combine these files. However, we do not have in these files the same column structure. Being required, click the data transformation option. See that we have here available in the cloud the Power Query already known to us. Also remember that unfortunately not all features displayed on the tabs are available. We will run a procedure in the simplest way to read the Parquet file data. So that filtering only the file we want. Removing the other columns that are not necessary to be displayed and performing the combined files procedure. We'll go expand its records in a table. On the left side, we have the objects that were created to make available of the data. Right below, we have the query that will receive the final result of this process. That we can also rename it. Realize that the data types were detected being added to the steps applied as we won't do but no change. We click the button Save and Close. We set the name of this data flow and we click the Save button. It's important to understand that this data need to be updated to reflect new records and changes in values. We can then set a schedule for periodic updating of the same. However, we will not do this procedure in this video. We will update first this data manually. And on Power by Desktop, get this data connecting to the data flow we created. I'll log in using the account organization. And after authentication of two steps, click on the Connect button and in the next window, select the table available. And in this case, we will click on Transform Data just to display the profile of our columns. To conclude, we click Close and Apply. We also, after saving the report on your computer, we can publish on Workspace of the Power BI service and view the data lineage since its origin from the Azure Data Lake through the data flow that was published using Power Desktop. And finally, verify that the report is aligned associated with this structure. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give your like and subscribe to our channel to value its content. As well use the comments to take your doubts. It is also important to understand that in the description of this video there are other information that can assist in your studies. See you later. Thank you very much. See other videos of the channel and follow me on my social networks.